G'day. Uh, g'day, my name's uh, How to Dad, and I have a black belt degree in dadding. Uh, yes, it is definitely a real thing, and no one in this room needs to look that up, so please, no one, no one look that up. Right, so my name's How to Dad, so obvious first question, how do you dad? Uh, well, I've got no idea, I just make it up. I mean, don't, don't you guys? Yeah, no? <laughs> Um, I started winging it from day one, you know, I'm a dad, I don't have time to read these serious parenting books and stuff, you know, I've got um, my job, I've got um, the lawn to do, I've, I've got sport to watch, even if I did have time to study this baby stuff, I'd probably get a paragraph in and just be like, yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I don't know what he's doing here, stupid, stupid book, trying to tell me what to do, oh, I wouldn't be doing that, mate, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, I don't need that, no, grab book and insert as wobbly table leveller thing. So no, reading fancy parenting books isn't for me. And to be honest, I'd much rather, you know, just make it up. It's more fun that way. Uh, two years ago, I made a video and I put it on the internet. I made it work, had a baby on the way. I was bored at home with my four-month-old and thought I'd chuck together an instructional video of sorts. Not much thinking behind it, I just kind of made it up. It was called How to Hold a Baby. I thought of as many holds as I knew. I made up a few others and then I made up some silly names to go along with them. Um, thought, you know, thought the mate at work would enjoy it, posted it to his Facebook page, and turns out over two million other people liked it too. Uh, yeah, g'day, and welcome to this instructional video on how to hold a baby. Uh, first, you're going to need a baby, baby, standard shoulder hold, reverse standard shoulder hold, need to pick something up, chin standard shoulder hold, chin, grab something, baby Jesus, double baby Jesus. Stinky nappy for me, stinky nappy for you. <laughs> Box of beers, the telephone, dance partner, dance partner, bird on a wire, poor man's front pack, hide your beer belly, the rugby ball hold, other rugby ball hold, show off to the other dads, Superman, show off to other kids, fish. Uh, and that's uh, how to hold your baby. And I, no babies were harmed in the making of this video. Pretty good, eh? Yeah. I was viral without even trying to be. Um, it went around the globe. Uh, Huffington Post, Time Online, The Guardian, E! Online, The Today Show, uh, The Waikato Times. Um, <laughs> Ashton Kutcher, that actor fella, he shared it to his 22 million followers. Uh, me and the little one, uh, we even went on the TV thing. Oh, mum, mum, this is the bit when we're on the telly, you missed it when I... Oh, sh she wasn't home when it originally played, so... Should I hit play? You watching? Yeah, I'll hit play? Cool. Posted it because a couple guys at my work have just had newborns, so I thought yeah. I'd tag them on Facebook. Went to bed, woke up the next morning, boom. Everywhere. So this is the whole thing. So basically you post it, go to bed, and overnight, I'm probably overselling it here, but your life changes overnight. You don't realise <laughs> until you wake up the next morning. Did I have any idea how to do a live TV interview with a baby? No. Um, as you can see here, where I break the very first rule of live baby TV, by forcing the kid onto the host. Oh, okay. too gorgeous. Uh, this is the Henry hold. Here's what Auntie I'm thinking. Auntie Hillary's just going to get a little oh, oh, picture. Oh, here's the pass oh, back. The this is the pass oh, back. That didn't last long. Yeah, I know we're all used to seeing Paul Henry up close on TV, but that close in real life, well, turns out that's a baby's worst nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> My worldwide fame, it went on and on and on for three whole days. Uh, then bam, it was over. The relentless YouTube questions and debates on if I was Australian or New Zealander were done. Uh, gone were the comments about me looking like, and I quote, a chubbier Mexican Ryan Gosling. I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. My viral dash was done and already the world had another 10,000 or so viral videos to catch up on. I was just back to being dad, except with my mum reminding me of any new comments on the video on a daily basis. Thanks, thanks mum. A few weeks later and I was bored, I was like, be pretty cool, you know, if I could just be famous again for three days, just for all the free stuff and the after parties and... Okay, there was no free stuff or after parties, but it was fun. And to be honest, I was like, these viral video things aren't even that hard. But it had to be different. I couldn't just try and redo, you know, how to hold a baby. I needed to think of something new, you know, something groundbreaking. So I went with... How to show off to other dads, 
while holding a baby. Hey, pretty clever. Different, but the same, but different. Um, and that amazing video there did, did not go viral. <laughs> Why? I, I have no idea. You know, you can't plan a viral video. You just make something up, chuck it out there, and see what happens. And clearly with this one, it didn't help that I had pants on. <laughs> Stubbies equals success. Short shorts equals success. What's the saying? Every good idea needs legs. And obviously for me, every good idea needs these legs in shorts that are too short. I gave up the viral video game, and to be honest, I spent the next six months regretting those goddamn pants. A lot of people argue that, hey, Jordan, I know your second video didn't go viral, but I don't think it was because you were wearing pants. And to that, I'd tell them, shush your lips. It was definitely the pants. It, it wasn't the fact that the second made-up video thing was extremely similar to the first made-up video thing. No, it was those pants. <laughs> so there I was. Six months on, and apart from my obvious disdain for pants, um, I, I had a tickle. I wanted more. This wasn't for my job. This was something I had made on my own, no one telling me what to do. My style of dad humor that I thought only my kids laughed at actually made other people laugh too, millions of people. Around that same time as I'm trying to diagnose this viral tickle, a few people had mentioned, hey, Jordan, I know it was like six months ago, but your first video did really well, and obviously, you know, there's an audience for that kind of thing, so maybe you could make like a YouTube or Facebook page or something. And I was like, oh, yeah, g'day, friend. Um, never made anything like that. I suppose I could give it a crack. I do know this, though. There won't be any pants in it. <laughs> and that friend was like, cool, you weirdo. <laughs> So I decided to make more of these parenting how-to videos, like helpful instructional videos that would ultimately not be very helpful at all. I didn't want to make serious videos, you know, that's no fun, and the internet was already full of those, blah, blah, blah. So next up, my wife and I, we tried to come up with a name for this thing. Dad things. Dad things on the web thingy. This is dad. Then my wife was like, how to be a dad? I was like, it's, it's too long, too long. How, how be a dad? You're close to brilliance. How did it, Dad? She'd done it. Well, I, I tried to claim that we'd done it, but it, it was all her. Bam, how did Dad? Made a new Facebook page, new YouTube page, grabbed the blurry screenshot from the How to Hold a Baby video, annoyed all my friends on Facebook to like the page. Now we just needed videos. I was like, let's do a new video every day. My wife was like, no, no, once a week we'll do. I was like, okay, okay. New how-to video every Monday, let's go. But we needed ideas, so I just started paying attention. Problems that us parents come across every day turned into a not very helpful, slightly funny how-to video. If I was out visiting family or friends, I'd notice something, start daydreaming, then weirdly laughing to myself, and a few days later, I'd film that idea and slapped it on the internet. How Did Dad was born and producing weekly, ridiculously unhelpful parenting videos. <laughs> parents liked them. Every Monday, I'd post our silly little videos. It was fun, exciting, not viral, but I'd made my own thing. The Facebook likes were slowly growing. Uh, soon, local news agencies were sharing our clips. Then some international agencies were again wanting to share our videos. None of these were viral videos, because you can't plan a viral video. We just stuck to our Monday video routine, making these things up every week, and to be honest, sometimes forgetting, quickly filming something on a Sunday afternoon to upload on the Monday, get on the interwebs, don't ask. Um, then bam, the viral video thing happened again. High fives all around, three days of fame, Z-list celebrity, how to dad. A few weeks later, and another video went viral. How to put a baby to sleep. And I thought it was the worst video we'd ever made. No, seriously, the idea with this one is that I'd be trying all these different tricks and my daughter would be running up and down the cot, bouncing around, because that is what she did every time I tried to put her to sleep. And that's a relatable video idea, right? That's saying that parents, that's an issue parents face, you know, kid jumping up, this is going to be great. But no, on this day, there was no bouncing, she just kept being stupid, falling to the floor of the cot and pretending to sleep. <laughs> I just rolled with it, I edited the video, put it together, and remember saying to my wife, this one's pretty crap because she just keeps going to sleep. <laughs> well, 26 million views later, and as the wise How to Dad said just 53 seconds ago, you can't plan a viral video. And this one proves just that. Uh, yeah, g'day, and welcome to this uh, instructional video on how to put a baby to sleep. Um, do you want to go to sleep? <laughs> it's 
never really that easy. So the shush train. The standard blanket that you renamed Blanky. Works every time. Method acting. Oh man. Must be time for you to go to sleep. Sleep time. Sleepy. Sleepy time. Oh. You gonna go to sleep? The tap out. I'll go get your mum. The hypnotist. And sleep. The dad that doesn't know a single lullaby. Twinkle, sleep now. Do you want a piece of me? And sleep. Uh, the big awkward dad giant baby sleepover. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Uh, lying down. Lying down. And sleep. The bribe dad. If you go to sleep, I'll let you climb the curtains tomorrow. <laughs> the give up. All right, high five. See you in the morning. See ya. See ya. Bye. The tiptoe. Uh, and that was how to put a, uh, a baby to sleep. High five. Thank you. Uh, now, two years on, over 100 how-to videos later, um, three pairs of stubbies, uh, over 200 million video views worldwide, 1.5 million followers, two published books, a web series, uh, international adventures, and about four-fifths of a TEDx talk later, here we are, still making these silly little videos. People ask me, hey, is it hard to come up with these videos each week? What it really boils down to is persistence. Us making these things up every week, like it or not, viral or not. They've, they've got that fancy life saying, um, fake it till you make it. I say, make it till you make it. Fakers don't make it. You need to show up every day and be the best you possibly can so that new opportunities find you. I got a lucky break, an international viral video that opened the doors for me to make my own thing, an opportunity. I grabbed it with both hands, my feet, I tried to get my elbows in there, and I'm doing as much with this opportunity as I possibly can. I'm making it my own. Those things in life that give you a little tickle, those things that nag you, float around in your dreams, don't let them go. Jump on opportunities. If you think you're onto a winner, well, grab it, make it yours, go hard, build it up, be the best at whatever that is. That thing that has just given you a little tickle, you know, just in this bit, or sometimes it's over there. Be the best at it. And please, just for me, this goofy dad, have fun with it. And above all, don't wear pants. <laughs> uh, life's loud, kids are loud, laugh louder. High five. Thank you.